Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video we're going to be talking about squaring a binomial. We're going to talk more specifically about a special rule that you can use when you need to square a binomial. It will allow you to arrive at the answer much more quickly. So our binomial here is x plus 3, and so we're asked to, to complete x plus 3 squared. So first you need to say to yourself, well, what does x plus 3 squared mean? And we know that any time we square a number or we square a term, we need to multiply that term by itself. So since x plus 3 is the term and we're squaring, we're going to multiply x plus 3 times x plus 3. So when we write it out in this fashion, you might think to yourself, well, I can just use FOIL, and you absolutely can. We can use FOIL to multiply this um, in just the manner that you use to multiply any binomials. So we could do the first terms, which is x times x, which is x squared. And then our outer terms are x times 3, which is 3x. Our inner terms are 3 times x, which is 3x. And our last terms are 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we can simplify the middle portion here. So 3x plus 3x is 6x. So we end up with an answer of x squared plus 6x plus 9. And that is the correct answer, and using FOIL is an absolutely acceptable method for simplifying this expression. However, there is an easier way, or a more quicker way, if you can remember the formula. And that formula says that the square of a binomial is the sum of the square of the first terms, twice the product of the two terms, and then the square of the last term. So that sounds a little confusing, but if we use this generic example and we take x plus y and we square it, all this means is that we're going to take the first term and square it, plus 2 times the product of x and y, plus this last term y squared. So if we take a look at this example with the example that we just completed, I think it'll make a little more sense. So let's take x plus 3 and square it again, but this time using this little formula. So up here we use x and y. So we're just going to say x is our x term and 3 is our y term. So our formula says that the first thing that we need to do is square the first term, x squared. Here we have x as well, so x squared, we're going to square the first term. Plus, we're going to do 2 times x times y. So x times y is x times 3. So 2 times x times 3. Plus y squared, y is 3, so that's 3 squared. Now I just need to, again, do a little bit of simplifying here in the middle. So we have x squared plus 2 times x times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 6x. And then 3 squared is 9. And I arrive at the exact same answer. So again, you can just kind of take a look at the first term, square it, multiply 2 times x times 3 to get 6x, and then square 3 to get 9. And you can arrive at the answer in that manner as well. Okay, so again, if you can memorize this formula, this is a very quick and easy way to square a binomial. And it only works if you're squaring the binomial. Okay, so that concludes example number one.